Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-196, also known as a time paradox. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And please, let me know if I already did this, because I can't remember. Let's get right into this. I have a number. SCP-196, Object Class, Euclid or Catter. Special Concerning Procedures, SCP-196 must be kept wholly ignorant of any information regarding the reason for its containment. These objects to be kept in a two-room cell inside Site-17. This cell is to be furnished with whatever SCP-196 requests as long as the request does not show any obvious likely lethal use and does not violate any SCP procedure. Subject must cohabit with at least one member of the site's level of security personnel who must be armed exclusively with the unlethal weaponry. Subject is allowed to freely wander the installation if accompanied by at least one member of Site 17's security personnel. Note that all staff below level 3 have been told he is a safe class object. SCP 196 has agreed to wear a satellite -like tracking anklet. Subject was told that removal of this anklet would result in his death, but this is not actually the case. Subject 196 displays no extraordinary physical ability, thus probability of, of escape is negligible. Description SCP-196 appears to be a middle-aged male, under 2 meters tall, of African-American descent. He claims to be 47 years old. Subject has black hair and brown eyes. There are no normal physical characteristics. Subject displays all basic needs of a, of a normal human being. Subject tested with an, an IQ of 109, although IQ scores mean nothing. Well, within normal parameters. Subject's psychological examination indicated that he suffers from institutionalized and Stockholm syndrome in relation to the Foundation security staff. SCP 196 demonstrates no Euclid -like type or other abilities. Note I run the full battery of tests, and the exam says that the guy is normal. Doctor redacted. Addendum 19601. Those with level 4 security clearance should see document 19601 for information regarding SV196's origin and subsequent header classification. Actually, this is kind of odd. I don't remember ever reading this. Level 4 clearance required. Security clearance is adequate. Access authorized. Addendum 19601. SCP-196 appeared at redacted on and uh, on a on a redacted date, and side of site redacted. SCP-196 claims he was re recruited and redacted of 20 redacted. The Santa class the recruitment procedures for testing of SCP -E blank. So it also claims that his younger self is currently living in another location in blank. Redacted. Genetic identification and checks confirm that SCP-196 has, has encountered foundation for security personnel in the past in an incident at Site-17 on an unknown date. During an incident, SCP-196 was far older and was killed by SCP personnel during an attempt. <coughs> Excuse me, during an attempt to break in at that facility, SCP-196 was at that at time not known. To the foundation as anything other than a lone human assailant. However, he was found to be carrying SV blank and several purely mundane weapons. While a Euclid class event of this nature would normally result in an individual being terminated to prevent any potential for a catastrophic paradox, SV 196's future is self is already dead. This means that he, if he were permitted to die, a catastrophic paradox would occur, damaging or destroying this continuity. SCP-196 must be kept alive until he decides to and successfully manages to escape of his own accord and somehow travels back to experience his own death while carrying SCP blank. Note that because of the e potential for paradox, SCP-196 must be kept far away from his younger double in blank. Additionally, a covert observation team must be permanently attached to SCP-196's younger self to protect his life. This is a case security force should otherwise not agree in. If I were to permit the timeline from unfolding, you naturally could result in damaging or destroying this continuity. For these reasons, SCP-196, despite being otherwise mundane, must be carefully monitored and has been and classified as a Euclid or Keter class object. Note 
And that was SCP-196. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!